welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you all of my like everyday go-to lip liners. I feel like lip liner is like not talked about as much. I feel like most of us wear lip liner. We just don't really talk about it that much because it's not as cool as like a brand new lipstick. You know what I mean? So I thought I would do this video because I haven't really seen like a whole dedicated video to lip liners. For me personally, I do wear lip liner every single day and it is kind of hard to pick out like that one lip liner that's going to be like your everyday go-to like perfect lip liner. I was actually cleaning out all of my lip liners the other day and these are the only ones that I'm left with as far as like neutral, nude, pinky, mauve tones. Um, just because these are the only ones that I gravitate towards and wear on a daily basis. So I wanted to share them with you guys. There's a combination of drugstore and higher end in this little conglomeration that I have right here. There's no rhyme or reason for why I have drugstore or high end in here. They're just my favorites. I love them, I use them, and that's why I kept them and I'm gonna share with you guys today. So hopefully this video will be helpful for you if you're looking for that like perfect lip liner to make your lips look a little bit more full or just, you know, add some definition to your lips. My lips are actually really uneven. My upper lip is small than my bottom lip like when I don't have any lipstick on or anything my upper lip almost like disappears so I like to make that look a little bit more full and also since I've had Invisalign my smile is kind of crooked because every month when I change my aligners my teeth are adjusting and moving and my smile is kind of like off sometimes it'll be crooked on one side or a little lower on the other side so I like to use a lip liner to help kind of correct that a little bit and make my smile look a little bit more even than what it really is so I'm just a huge fan of lip liners. I just feel like they can do so much for your lips. Um, whether you're going to just like fully outline them, just make them look a little bit more full and plump. So I wanted to share these with you guys today. So the first one I'm going to start out with in no particular order. I don't know if I mentioned this. I do have 11 of them. I thought I only had 10 and then I found one this morning and I was like, ah, gotta keep that one. It's a good one. So I do have 11 of them to share with you guys today. So this first one is actually kind of like a pinky mauve. This is by ColourPop. I really love ColourPop liners, especially because of the price point. They're very affordable. I think they're five or six dollars. They're really, really creamy though. So I actually like to use these to kind of like shade in the side of my lips and just make it look like almost a lip color and then apply gloss over top. That's my favorite way to use the ColourPop ones. But this one is in the shade Bound and it is definitely one of my favorites. As you guys can see, it has been sharpened several times. A little tip when you guys are sharpening your lip liners, put them in the freezer for like an hour or two and then go to sharpen them because it'll be a little bit harder and it'll be a lot easier to sharpen them without them like melting and falling apart. I learned the hard way and ruined a couple of my lip liners, so that trick definitely works. But this is what Bound looks like by ColourPop. A really pretty like darker mauve and it really does look beautiful with any mauve lip or any pink lip. I love this one paired with Cream Cup by MAC. So what I'll do is I'll take this, shade it all over my lips, and then put Cream Cup in the middle, and it's so pretty. So definitely a favorite, I really like these. If you haven't tried the ColourPop lip liners, I definitely recommend them. They're so affordable. I like the packaging, and they're super creamy. Next up is one by Bite Beauty. This is the shade 022, and I actually used this one in a tutorial recently. And I could not find the name of this one. And I remember that I couldn't find the name of this one on the pencil then either. So I will find it and link it down below for you guys. But on here, it just says 022. I may have sharpened the part where, you know, the name was. But this is what it looks like. It is a beautiful pinky nude. Perfect for, again, any pink lipstick or gloss that you're going to wear. Or even a nude looks really great with this too, like a cool tone nude. So that is this one, 0022 by Bite Beauty. And I'll link the name of it down below for you guys. And I had to mention this one by Jordana because I have used these in several tutorials over the years. This is, of course, the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips Retractable Pencil. This one is in the shade Tawny. And I'm actually a huge fan of not only this one, but Rock and Rose is a great one. It's more of like a mobby kind of almost brown nude and then coco loco i just used in my last tutorial which is a very dark brown but it's so creamy that it just really blends into the lips and then you put a nude gloss over it gorgeous but this one that i have to show you guys today is in the shade tawny and it's probably my most used and repurchased it's a really beautiful light pink kind of with a purpley undertone to it definitely a cooler tone than the last one by bite beauty 
So this is what it looks like right there. Super beautiful. Makes your lips look just like really full. Just kind of like a go-to every day. You don't have to think about it. You want a little bit of color to your lips, but not too much. This is a great one for that. And the best part about these, they're like $2.99 at any drugstore that sells Jordana. So I've just always been a huge fan of them. I've used them on clients when I used to do makeup um, on clients, and I just really like them. They're not going to be the longest wearing, but for the price point, they're definitely worth it. And I had to mention this one by Charlotte Tilbury. I've been obsessed with this lately. This is definitely a newer purchase for me, but I have fallen hard and I've fallen fast for this little guy. I wanna get more shades because there's something about this lip cheat is what they call it. It's supposed to be a reshape plus resize lip liner. I don't know how they do it. It's like magic for the lips. It makes your lips look so juicy and plump. I don't know if it's the formulation or just this color in particular, but it's magic. I absolutely love it. So again, this one is in the shade at Pillow Talk and I am just, oh, I love this shade so much, you guys. It's just, oh, it's perfect. If you are looking to splurge on a lip liner this year, definitely recommend this one. It's just the most perfect nudey pink. I don't know how it does it on your lips, you guys, but I promise you it makes your lips look juicy. That is the only way I know how to describe it. They're just really plump and full and youthful when you wear this. So I'm obsessed. And now that I look at it here on my hand, it is very similar in color to the Giordano one that I just showed you in Tawny. That's actually really, really, really dupable. The only thing is the formulation is a little bit different. This one by Charlotte Tilbury definitely has that juicy factor that I don't know how they do it. Um, but other than that, the color is pretty like spot on. So this one right here is the Jordana and this one is the Charlotte Tilbury. And it's actually really similar to the Bite Beauty one too. It's almost, I don't know. I feel like the Bite Beauty one is probably even a little bit closer than the Jordana one. So these are just all really great lip liners, you guys. They're all really beautiful, but if I had to pick formulation wise, the Charlotte Tilbury one is just over the top. I have two from Urban Decay. These have been both very well loved by me. The first one is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Naked. I love these because they really do stay on your lips. They last a good amount of time, which is awesome if you're gonna be out and about. You don't have to go reapply or anything like that. So this first one I have is Naked. And as you can see, it's almost time that I go pick up a new one because it has been very well loved. But this is the shade of it right there. It's definitely more of like a purpley undertone mauve and I love it. I love to wear this one when I want some more color and definition on my lips without going nude. This is definitely a good one to pair with a mauve lip. And then it's Sister Naked 2. I actually picked up, I think at the beginning of last year, and I love this one more than the Naked. If I had to choose between them, I really like Naked 2 a little bit better, just because it is a little lighter and a color that I would, you know, gravitate towards on a more like regular basis. But this is what it looks like right here. And this one definitely has more of a peachy undertone, which is why I probably like it more because I do tend to wear more like, you know, peachy tones on my lips, but it still is a beautiful, beautiful, like, oh, love it nude. <laughs> but it truly is just like that perfect everyday go-to nude lip liner. So love this one. And then I also have one by Bare Minerals that I wanna share with you guys. So Bare Minerals came out with their Gin Nude collection last year, and I have fallen in love with it. Their lip gloss formulation is just the best. Their liquid lipsticks are one of the best that I've ever tried and I also really love this lip liner. This one is the only one that I have. I do wanna try more in the near future, but this one is in the shade Freestyle, and this is more of a brownie nude, as you guys can see. I really like this one with a peach lip. I really like having like that darker brown base to make my lips look fuller and more defined, and then go in with a lighter peach lipstick. I just think that that's really pretty, so I really love this one for that kind of look. Also, if I'm going through this video super fast, which I know I probably am just talking super fast, I am gonna do a blog post on all of these lip liners with links, swatches, all of that. So I will link my blog down below if you're interested and wanna go you know, look further into the swatches and the names and all of that. In case you are interested in going and seeing the swatches a little bit more up close, along with the names and all of that, I will link my blog down below for you guys. I'll also link all of the lip liners that I talk about in the description box down below 
um, so you guys can check them out on their website and things too. But just wanted to let you know that because I am kind of speeding through this video. I tend to get pretty long-winded, so I'm trying to make it through this video pretty quickly because I have so many lip liners to talk about. But this next one is by Marc Jacobs. This is another amazing lip liner that I fell in love with last year. This is in the shade Nudist, and again, I love this lip liner. I'm actually down to the very tippy tip top of it, so I do need to go buy a new one, but I have used this shade nonstop. It is more of like a brownie, peachy nude, very similar to Naked 2 by Urban Decay, but that's what it looks like right there. Great everyday lip liner. This is one that I just always wear. And the formulation of this is really good. It's super creamy. You can blend this all throughout your lips and then just apply a gloss over top. Once again, that's something that I really like to do. And this is a great lip liner for that. All right, so we're down to our final two. I'll do the drugstore one first and then end with a MAC lip liner. So what's left of this one right here is from Milani. And I believe this is just called their Color Statement Lip Liner. This is in the shade All Natural number zero four this is super super creamy as you guys can see the swatch came out a little bit bigger but that's why i love this one again this is great to fill in all of your lip and then go in with a lipstick over top or a gloss and it's from the drugstore so it's really easy to pick up when you run out and i really like the color and the consistency of it so that's what it looks like right there definitely more of a mauve lip liner kind of like the first one that i showed you um, from ColourPop in the shade Bound, but just another really great one if you're gonna wear a pink lip or a mauve lip. And then last but not least is the lip liner that I'm actually wearing today. This is by MAC in the shade Strip Down. Very popular shade. I'm sure you guys have heard everyone talk about it because it's definitely been a cult favorite. And for good reason, I really, really like this lip liner. I put it right here on the side so you guys could see. It's very similar to Freestyle by Bare Minerals that I showed you a minute ago. This one I would say has maybe a hint more like pinky peach to it. Um, but I absolutely love it. Again, it is what I'm wearing today on my lips. It just makes your lips look really full and defined. So if you're someone that does like that look, I know not everyone does, but if you are someone that does, this is a great lip liner to have. And I really do like MAC lip liners. I'm not a huge fan of them. I actually prefer the Pro Longwear lip liners a little bit better than the regular formulation, but I really like this color. So those were all of my just go-to everyday lip liners that I love and use on a daily basis. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful in some sort of way, whether you're just looking for another really great lip liner or just like that perfect undertone in a lip liner. I hope you guys maybe found it in today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I will have swatches on my blog. So check it out down below in the link. It's just shecandivine.com and I will link all of these lip liners down below as well in case you're interested but thank you guys so much for watching be sure to let me know in the comments any video requests that you guys have for me for future videos and i will see you guys next time bye